for you. I know you all love ASOS hauls, so this is going to be a bit of a wardrobe update. So I have loads of tops from ASOS. Um, this is probably going to be my biggest haul I've ever done. Um, I've got loads of different tops and loads of different styles and loads of different colours just to kind of give you an idea of what you could do to update your wardrobe. So this is a whole wardrobe overhaul. So this is almost like starting from scratch. So you have a load of new items for your wardrobe. Um, I picked out some really, really nice pieces that I like and I've not really looked at all of these yet. So we'll go through them together and decide what I like, what I want to keep and maybe what's not so right for me and what I might send back. So let's get started. So my first item is a boohoo top and this is almost like prairie style. So it's, you've got these beautiful open shoulders here. You've got a little kinched in detail at the wrist and you've also got this nice sheer panel in the waist. Um, and of course, a little peplum detail at the bottom. I thought this was really, really pretty online. It looked lovely on the model. Um, and I really love all the frills and everything that it has on it. Um, I quite like that. I think I might try it on and see how I feel about it though because I feel like it might be a bit young. This would be perfect for a festival or something though, um, or maybe just like a day out shopping with the girls, but potentially not quite right for me. Second, we have this pretty little, this is ASOS own brand, it's like an apricot peach shirt. This I think would be perfect for work and it's lovely. It's like a really sheer fabric, really movable, no creases, so I don't think it would crease that easily either. And again, beautiful little floaty sleeves, they're a cap detail, so really flattering on the arms as well. Um, and not quite a piece of pan collar, but like a closed button at the top. And I just thought that was really, really lovely, really smart for meetings and things like that. Um, and if you do work in an office, I think that's perfect for an office, especially in the summer when it's really, really hot and you don't really want to wear a full shirt. I think that's beautiful. Next is a piece I really like. I thought this would be beautiful over a pair of white jeans or even blue jeans. It's this blue little shirt from ASOS. Um, size wise, I think these are all an eight or a 10. Um, again, it's got almost like a peplum float at the bottom. Beautiful fountain frill sleeves and a little bow just at the top. And this comes quite low as well. So you get a little bit of cleavage um, just to add a little bit more detail. But I thought that was beautiful. I love the colour as well. Um, so I think I might keep that. I really, really like it. Next is another ASOS shirt. I thought, again, this would be quite a good one for the office. Um, it's got a lovely deep V, but not so deep that it's unflattering. Um, again, cap sleeves and a lovely little frill. And then it's got a little belt um, just to go around the middle. Um, and again, the frill comes down a little bit and it just looks really, really flattering. And I love the white shirt. It looks really, really comfortable. I'm not sure what the fabric is. Oh, it's 100% cotton and I got that in a size eight. Um, again, I think that's gonna be a great little staple top with any color trousers. So I really like that one as well. Next up, I'm not so sure about this one because the color is so bold, but it's this emerald green shirt. Um, it's almost just like a normal top, three quarter length sleeves, which I think is lovely and really flattering. Again, kind of kinched in just at your elbow. Um, and another little peplum style here with a lovely, lovely frill detail. And I just thought that was really, really pretty. Um, there's a tiny little button at the top, so it literally just goes over your head and that's it. But I really liked the colour on the model and I thought it would be really, really beautiful. Again, a nice little summer piece or almost a transitional piece. I know we're not out of summer yet, but it feels like it's really getting a lot colder and I think this top is perfect for these kind of days where you don't want to be wearing a jacket, but you do want to be wearing something a little bit more covered up. Next is just a pink t-shirt and this looked actually a lot nicer on the model than it does in person. I'm not so sure about it in person. It's just a pink t-shirt with a gathered um, sleeve here and I just thought this was quite a nice little basic. Sometimes you don't want to be just wearing a t-shirt, you want to be wearing something a little bit smarter and I thought this was that little bit smarter. But in person I'm not so sure about it, it, it really does look just like a t-shirt. Um, so I don't know, that was a UK size 8 um, and I think that was quite cheap as well. But I think it shows, so I'm not sure I'll be keeping that one. This is the same top as the white one that we saw earlier, but in yellow. And I really, really like this colour, but yellow is a difficult one for me. On the website, this looked quite mustardy, but I think in person it's a lot more yellow than it looked. 
So I don't know if this is going to suit me, but again, same style, just different colour. But I think with someone with more of an olive skin tone naturally, brown hair, brown eyes, that kind of look, um, it would look beautiful on them because it's the right kind of skin tone. But we, me with my fair skin and fair hair, I'm just not sure that colour would work. But we can see how we go. I love the style though, I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm trying to figure this one out. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Oh, I see what this is. So this is the wrap style top that you've seen everyone in for the last two years, I think. Um, so it basically comes across like this and you wrap it all the way around and then tie it in the middle and it's got these beautiful balloon puff style sleeves um, and it's in a lovely little checked print, which I think is really pretty. I'm not so sure on the fabric of the shirt, it feels a bit funny, um, but it's quite a nice simple little shirt and a great take on the trend. I'm not sure what this is. What is that? Oh, how interesting. They put a big tag on it so you can't send it back. Please do not remove unless you want to keep the item. Um, I'm not sure about that one just because I don't really love the fabric, but I'll try it on just because it is such a blogger's favourite. Okay, next up, I think this piece is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I popped this on for an Instagram shot earlier in one of the ballrooms and it was stunning. It's almost like a crepe style dress and this is ASOS own brand, I got this in a size 8. Um, I love this colour, almost like a mint green. It flows so nicely. It just look, it's got so much movement and I think this would be the perfect dress. Or well, even if you were getting married, this would actually be a perfect bridesmaid's dress. I think it's stunning. Or if you were attending a wedding this summer, if you've got a wedding still to come, um, I think this would be perfect. Um, just with a lovely pair of shoes. I'll stick in a picture um, that I took um, for Instagram in the ballroom so you can see how I styled it. But I just think with a beautiful pair of heels and a nice little matching handbag, you can't go wrong with this. I think it's a perfect little summer dress. Okay, next it's got the cutout um, sleeves that we're seeing, all the cold shoulder detail that we're seeing all over the place at the moment. Again, a nice little cap sleeve here and frill detail. And then it's got long sleeves that go down into almost like a trumpet shape. Um, the fabric is lovely, it's just like crepe. Oh, I'm not sure about that detail. A random little frill at the bottom. Um, Oh, and then there's no, oh, it's then not on that sleeve. That's an interesting design. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I think we'll see how we get on with that. I'm not a massive fan. Mm. And it's got a mark on it as well. So that one will definitely be going back to ASOS. Um, sometimes you do that and you buy items and they already have marks on them. But yeah, we'll be sending that one back. Oh, I'm actually really impressed with this one. So this is from Miss Selfridge. I bought this in a size 10. Um, and it's just a v-neck t-shirt, but it's got these puffball sleeves and I'm obsessed with the puffball sleeve at the moment. Um, it's a nice little, I think it's actually a crop top, I thought it'd be a bit longer than this. Um, it's obviously just in black, tiny little top, um, and this is a UK size 10 and it was £14, so I really don't think you can go wrong um, with a top for £14 if you have to wear a black top for work. Um, I used to be a waitress in a restaurant and this is the kind of top I would wear all the time, just tucked into a pair of smart black trousers. So I think that's a really, really beautiful, smart little top to wear. So this top is from Unique 21, and I'm wondering if that is part of Forever 21, but I didn't know they were on ASOS. Um, this is just a very, very simple little shirt, um, a blue and white stripes. It's got this lovely frill across here, long sleeves, um, and completely buttoned up the front. And I just thought, again, this would be a really, really nice top um, for colder days when you just want to wear something tucked into jeans with a nice belt um, and a pair of wedges because it's not um, cold enough to be wearing winter boots or anything at the moment but I just thought that was really really lovely. Um, that one might be a keeper I think as well because I just think it's very very feminine, very very pretty but also quite smart and easy to wear. So I'm really pleased with this top, I'm actually going to get rid of the hanger um, and just hold it up for you. I'm really pleased with this top because it looks exactly the same as it does on the website. Um, it's just a nice little crepe top, ASOS own brand again, um, but it just has this lovely little piped detail along the top with these frills and it's one shoulder. And I thought this would be a great um, going out top or for smarter occasions, tucked into a pair of nice trousers or a really smart skirt, um, a beautiful silk maxi skirt, that kind of look would look absolutely stunning with this top. 
um, and also make it look quite expensive. I think this top looks quite expensive and it's very simple and I'm pretty sure it was very cheap as well. So I'm really pleased with that buy um, and hopefully it fits and looks lovely as well. That is a size 8, so really chuffed with that one. Next up we've got another simple shirt. I'm not so sure about the colour of this one because again it looked a bit more muted on the website but this is actually very, almost like an acid green. Um, lovely, pretty little um, frill detail here, completely buttoned up to the top and it's almost got this bib detail around the neck which I really, really like. Um, it almost makes it look quite classic and the frill goes all the way around the back as well which again I think is quite flattering and lovely if you've got hair that just sits here, I think it looks beautiful. Um, long sleeves again, so perfect for this time of year um, and I just thought that was a really, really lovely shape. I'm not so sure on the colour but I think we'll try it and give it a go because I think that um, this top will get a lot of wear out of it if I do like it and this again is a UK size 8. Okay, another one, um, one shoulder top. This one is from New Look and it's a size 8. I kind of fell in love with the um, floral detail on this. This kind of style isn't something that I would wear normally but I just thought this was so pretty. Um, it's got like a... I can't describe the texture to you, but it's um, been pulled out slightly, so you've got a lovely little bobbly feeling, um, and again, a lovely little frill going all the way around to the back. Oh, I've dropped it. Um, and then it comes down into this balloon sleeve, and it's gathered at the wrist. So I thought that was really, really cute. I'm going to try it with a few things. I think with a pair of smart trousers, it might look really, really lovely, um, but it might be too fussy for me because I quite like quite simple tops. Okay, next is a piece I'm really excited about. My friend Ola actually wore this in one of her recent Instagram pictures and then I saw it on ASOS um, and thought that I'd have to get it and try it because I just thought it was so cool. I hate the feel of this fabric, but I think it is such a pretty top. So it's from Misguided. Um, it's kind of organzery, but stiff organza. So it has these big puffball sleeves. It's very kind of 80s. Um, and it's gathered just at the elbow here and then again at the waist and just comes out. I mean you'd have to wear something underneath this or a nude bra or a black bra if you feel like you want to do that. Um, but I thought this was just a really really fun top and potentially something for dinners and things like that. Um, this definitely isn't an everyday top for me anyway. Uh, but I just thought it was really, really fun and um, it's a really lovely piece, so I might try that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that because I don't know how much wear I'd actually get out of it, but it's beautiful anyway. I think that's such a lovely piece from Misguided. And I want to say it wasn't that cheap, um, but I'll link everything down below anyway so you can see everything. Um, but yeah, super fun piece. I don't think this is going to be around for very long. I think it will sell out quite quickly. This one was another piece that I just thought would be a really, really simple, lovely item to have in the wardrobe. I thought this tucked into trousers would look great. Um, it's just a very simple um, white top. Big sleeve details here and it comes in at the neck. So very, very flattering um, if you potentially have um, a shorter body just to elongate it. Um, I love this neckline, it's also very flattering to just show off kind of this part of your shoulders, I think it looks beautiful. Just a couple of little buttons at the back um, and then it comes in at the waist as well, so great tucked into a pair of trousers and it just kind of balloons out. I thought this was really, really beautiful. I'm quite busty so it may not look right on me but I really, really hope it does because I don't think this was very expensive again um, and I just think that's a really pretty little top for summer. Okay, we're almost through, I promise. Um, next were trousers. So I think I've got four pairs of trousers in total. I'm definitely not gonna be keeping all of them because trousers are hit and miss for me. Um, these ones are from Misguided and they're a UK size 10. And I'm really loving this paper bag waist at the moment. I think it's really, really flattering. Um, and you can tuck anything in and it just gives it a beautiful shape. I really like them and I think they look really, really smart. I thought this nude colour was really wearable as well. Um, there's a nice little waist tie here and you've got pockets on each side as well. And they're just very plain at the back, um, high-waisted obviously, and they are cropped legs as well. So they'll hang kind of just on the calf, just above the ankle, which again is really flattering for me. I thought they were lovely and normally I'll buy trousers in a size 10 because I don't want them to be too tight on the legs. Um, 
I've actually already tried them on and I really, really like them, so I'll probably be keeping them. But for instance, with that white top, let me grab it. That white top tucked into the nude trousers I think would look so lovely um, and such an easy wearable outfit. Next up, I'm not so sure about these. These are almost like a pale um, blush pink slash cream colour. Um, they're tapered trousers, again high waisted, there's a little one pocket detail at the back um, and they've got pockets at the front there as well. These are long. Um, and they've been they've been pressed so that they've got that lovely line going down the front, which is very flattering. Um, and I love a high waisted trouser. I might try them on and see how we go with them. But first impressions, I don't love them. They just feel a bit, I don't know, funny. And they look in person a bit old fashioned. So we'll see how we go with them. Okay, same trousers, different colour. This time it's more of a purpley lilac colour. I thought these were a lot pinker on the website um, and more like a blush pink, but never mind. Um, so same style, they look exactly the same, just different colour. I'm not sure I like this colour, I think I prefer the other colour, it's just a bit smarter and easier to wear, um, but again we'll see how we go with them. Last pair of trousers, um, these look like exactly the same shape again, different colour, but they've got an elasticated waistband at the back. Um, I do like this colour, but I'm not sure about the elastic at the back because I feel like it wouldn't be as flattering on the bottom. But again, we'll try them and see how we go. Okay guys, that is everything in the haul. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it's been a little bit long, um, but I hope you managed to get a bit of inspiration from the pieces. Let me know what you think I should keep and what I should send back, and let me know if you get any of the pieces as well, because I would love to see them on you. A lot of you DM me pictures on Instagram, which I love, um, so I'd love to see them on there. Um, you can find my handle down below anyway, but as per usual, I'll link everything um, so you can buy them straight from the description box below. And that's it, I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Calling me dum 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 It's none of your business I'll run 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 When did you quit being fun 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 Should have known better I'm done